set on a ship world whose origins are shrouded in legend, ruled by strange gods who appear infrequently to their worshippers on large screens, and peopled by a human race changed by eons of time, yet familiar. Hello and welcome to Liam's Lyceum. I'm your host Liam, aka Hembar. Today I'll be doing a spoiler-free review of Gene Wolfe's Nightside the Long Sun. Nightside the Long Sun is a 1993 novel and book one of the Book of the Long Sun by Gene Wolfe, which totals four volumes. Um, this is a sort of sequel to Book of the New Sun. It um, takes place after that. It is in the same world. Um, and collectively, the Book of the Short Sun, the Book of the Long Sun, and the Book of the New Sun are the solar cycle. Now, this one is very different as... It takes place in a world that is cylindrical. Um, I can just say that this is a mega structure generation ship. I will leave it at that for you. Um, our main character is not the rather dubious Severian who often goes from, well, highly praiseable uh, to very despicable. This is a very different character, and this character is Patera Silk, who is a priest. Um, and actually, the game, um, the rather story, starts with him playing a ball game, um, and he has a spiritual experience connected with one of the gods, the Outsider. He is a being outside of his world called the World. Essentially, he's well. As far as I'm able to interpret, this is like. You know, the Christian God, in a sense, the actual God, however you want to view it. He's not one of these nebulous gods that are otherwise worshipped in the world. So the other, there are nine of these other gods, and they're all physical beings, and they appear on the ship um, from time to time on these screens. Uh, the passengers are, of course, unaware of this, but, you know, they worship him as gods. And this whole religion is set up around them. Of course, Patera, meaning father, essentially. So Silk hopes, hopes for a um, god to appear at the sacred window of the Mantion that he lives at, um, which acts primarily as a school for several dozen children. Um, this one is told in third person and not the first person in the Book of the New Sun. It is a little easier to follow because we don't get Severian's unreliability. We do get an interesting moral system and some good stories on forgiveness, and it is still a weird far future world that, again, is familiar but far removed. Though Silk is kind of naive in some ways and misses some subtleties that the narrator doesn't elaborate on, uh, so there is still some good um, stuff to get from reading this, of course. At the same time, Silk knows more about this unfamiliar world than the reader does, so uh, some things are not really explained. <laughs> so, um, But basically, the story is about um, Silk getting a calling from the outsider, um, and this leads him on a quest to save his mantian, culminating in... Um, well, they encounter at the end. <laughs> so the naming conventions uh, are easy enough to catch on here, though. Um, males have certain names, uh, females others, androids others. I will not spoil that for you, just let you figure that one out yourself. But it's not the same naming convention as Book of the New Sun, where basically everyone human is named after a saint. Um, the vocabulary isn't too bad, um, though tougher than most books, it's easier than Book of the New Sun. But Wolf does a really good job of rewarding the attentive reader as he has always done, as far as I am aware. So, again, it is filled with the wonderful and strange. Um, and again, Silk is a good guy. There's some funny experiences um, where he is in, in places that he finds pretty inappropriate, especially um, when considering a brothel. So you might imagine the fun that we can have there. Um, but he is a really good guy. So I know some people are turned off by Book of the New Sun by the main character, even though I think Severian overall is actually a more interesting character than Silk. And I enjoyed Book 1 of Book of the New Sun, The Shadow of Torture, considerably more than Nightside the Long Sun. Uh, this was still a great start to what will hopefully prove a very satisfying um, series. So again, we have weird and wonderful things going on here. So we also have other great characters, of course. Uh, one I'll mention is Mukor, who is a very uh, interesting. I know a lot of people like explanations for those interesting things, but I'd rather just leave you uh, with finding what out uh, that out for yourself. So um, it is 
Also a very good job, I just want to say, on the concept of faith. I think it is explored, um, well, rather well and thoroughly. So anyways, in Liam Williams Lyceum, go and read Nightside the Long Sun, everyone. I'll catch you next time.